everyone. Welcome to day two coverage of week three on the Junior Grand Prix. You're looking downtown in Kosike, Slovakia. We're in the eastern part of Slovakia, very close to the Hungarian border and also to Ukraine and Poland. It's a beautiful city downtown, fabulous hosts here. And you're looking at the outside of the Steel Arena. Capacity 8,000, of course, this week, no spectators in the facility at all. We're live inside, beautiful ice surface. What a wonderful job they've done here. Welcome everyone to Slovakia week two, or week three, pardon me, of the Junior Grand Prix. We're so excited to have the pairs joining us here. The Russian skaters have also joined us. We've had the women's short, the men's short, and the pairs short yesterday. Some absolutely outstanding skating and more to come today. The rhythm dance coming up in just a few moments. Let's take a look at their start order. Nasledujúci predekári môžu nastúpiť na rozjazdku. Following competitors may now take the ice for your warm-up. Couple number one, representing Great Britain, Sofia Pushel and Alex Lapsky. Couple number two, representing Finland, Daniela Ivanitsky and David Goldstein. Well, there are 15 dance teams uh, in this event. There will be three groups on the ice right Germany. now. The group number one Carla for the warm-up. I want to Guy have a special Mokovic thank you to all the officials who uh, are here making these Couple events work. It's not easy traveling these days. It's Canada. very difficult going from Floyd, country to country. Of course, lots Alex of COVID Ruby. tests. Had another one today myself. Uh, we thank them Couple for their extraordinary contributions Cyprus. and efforts to make the Junior Angelina Grand Prix work Podestela. this season. A great thank Angelina you to the Angelina. ISU Angelina. as well. Let's take a look at the officials for this event. Well, here's a look at today's schedule. Of course, the rhythm dance on the ice for their warm-up 12 o'clock here local time. We'll move on to the men's free program at 14.35 this afternoon. Should be some great skating at the end of that event. And the pair is free tonight at 18.35. Tomorrow's schedule, free dance will take to the ice at 10.30 in the morning and we'll complete the competition here in Slovakia at 13.20 with the women's free program. And there's a look at the rest of our schedule. We have a week off next week, but then we will move on to Krasnyarsk, Russia, September 16th to 18th, on to Ljubljana, Slovenia, September 23rd to 25th, Gdansk, Poland, September 30th to October 2nd. We'll finish out the Junior Grand Prix 2021 season in Linz, Austria, October 7th to 9th. But don't forget the Junior and Senior Grand Prix Final will take place in Osaka, Japan, December 10th to 12th. Watching the practice sessions uh, all day this morning, 
just some remarkable skating. There's a wide range of, often talk about this, a wide range in juniors, there's no question. You've got some that don't have the same facilities and opportunities, uh, but then you've got some that have all the facilities and opportunities at a very young age. And the level of skating in juniors is quite, uh, at the high level, in the top groups, is quite extraordinary. There is one minute left in his warm up. And there's a look at the start order for the first warm up group. I was having a conversation this morning with Genny Plushenko about some of the skaters. He was talking about the difference between what juniors were in his day compared to now and how extraordinary it is. And we uh, all get to witness that with some wonderful skating. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram at ISU Figure Skating, on YouTube at ISU Junior Grand Prix, and on Twitter at ISU underscore Figure. Now we're going to be recording the key points, show you the, the feet during the key points on the replay so you can do your comparisons if you're really into dance. We'll play that out on most of the teams throughout this event. And here we go. Dámy a páni, ladies and gentlemen, z Veľkej Británie, representing Great Britain, Sofia Bushell and Alex Lepsky. Well, Sofia is 16 years old. Alex is 18. This is their first Junior Grand Prix event. They're coached and choreographed by Philip Poole. And as they take their starting position, they'll skate the rhythm dance here this afternoon to Grease Lightning and Blue Moon. Wow, this car is automatic. It's systematic. It's hydromatic. Why it's Grease Lightning! Grease Lightning! We get some overhead lifters and some four barrel quads, oh yeah. Keep talking, or keep talking. A fuel injection cut off the chrome bladed rods, oh yeah. I get the money, I kill to get the money. With a four speed on the floor, they'll be waiting at the door. You know that ain't no crap, we'll be getting lots of that in Grease Lightning.
representing Great Britain, Sofia Bushell and Alex Lapsky. Well, Sofia and Alex first team out in the rhythm dance. Pretty happy coming off the ice, no major mistakes for sure. Lots of work to do on detail and basic quality of skating. I've mentioned this many, many times. Simply thousands of hours required to just get that solid skating skills, deep edges and speed. Here's a look at the twizzles. And the twizzles came in at level four for Sophia and level three for Alex. Small plus GOE, so that's good. Here's a look at the feet on the key points. You watch the chalk talk coming up right in here. Deep inside edge right here. So that last lift, their rotational lift came in at level four, so that was well done with a plus 3.33. The midline steps a little earlier came in at a level one. Scores for the rhythm dance for Sophia and Alex. First team out, 42.73. Well, they seem pretty happy with that. I wasn't sure, they looked a little bit startled, but then had a little hand slap. <laughs> They're happy with that score. Representing Finland, Daniela Ivanitsky and David Goldstein. Oh, Daniela 17, David is 19. This is their first Junior Grand Prix event. They're coached by Igor Spielban and Pasquale Kamerlengo. Coached and choreographed by that great team. And they'll skate the rhythm dance to Empire State of Mind and welcome to New York.
representing Finland, Daniela Ivanitsky and David Goldstein. Well, this is a really, really good example of a young team. I don't mean young age-wise necessarily. I mean, just sort of a new team that is was very thoughtful and uh, cautious, maybe is the wrong word, but um, careful in making sure that they executed each one of their elements as planned. So there wasn't a lot of speed, there wasn't a lot of depth at the edge, there's lots of things that will come in years of training. Uh, but this is what happens early on. And you're out competing, you just want to get the steps correct. And you want to get the elements laid down. So you're a little bit more cautious going in. Here's the Twizzles got a little out of sync right there. You can see they're opposite. Uh, timing of course in at a level three for Daniela level four for David so from a difficulty perspective the features were mostly met except for one for Daniela but the quality of course minus one uh, point is zero four so and here's a look at the straight line lift and that was well done that comes into level four for difficulty but a minus Point one three. Here's a look at the key points. Just a tight close up. It's pretty amazing when you think of it. How close the skaters and the skates are together, making sure they place them correctly on the edge. Their technical panel watching ever so closely for every detail in the key points, which I'm certainly not going to go down. The road on. But we'll show you those tight shots throughout the event. Here's a look at uh, the no touch midline step sequence. This is in at a, a level one. And so, what was good is that they carefully went through the program to execute the elements to compete in this competition. There's lots of work, and all the elements are in the minus GOE. So, from a quality perspective, lots of work to do on that. But that will come in time. That's the process. There's no other way around it. It's early on. And they're happy. That is the most important thing. The score is 32.29. Or 0.99, pardon me, for David, okay. Daniela and David, and that puts them currently into second place. Ako ďalší v poradí, next to skate, representing Germany, Karla Maria Karl and Kai Hoferichter.
representing Germany, Carla Maria Karl and Kai Hoferichter. some of the elements for Carla and Kai from Germany. Great animation right off the top. And look at tight shot of the feet on the key point section. Blues portion of the dance. Nice deep edges, nice and close. I see that there's the Choctaw inside edge here back outside and look into the twizzles level three for Carla level four for Kai so that was nicely done plus GOE of 0.83 so some good points earned on that element nice and close the hands moving up nice a little look at the midline steps this is in actually at a level one so missing some features on this there's the pickup into the rotation lift. That's a level four, so all features reached for the plus GOE of 0.39. So, again, some pretty good scores on that element. And there you go, right in the end. And a big smile. Rhythm dance scores for Carla and Kai, 51.15, good score. And that puts Carla and Kai currently into first place. Nice job. Next is Kate, representing Canada. Chloe Nguyen and Alec Rouge. 15 year old Chloe, Chloe Nguyen, 19 year old Alex Rouge from Canada. She was born in Windsor. He was born in Wakama, Japan. Coached and choreographed by Aaron Lowe and Megan Wing. Skating the rhythm dance to Talking to the Moon and Mr. Almost.
Representing Canada, Chloe Nguyen and Alec Rouge. Well, what a great job by Chloe and Alec. Everything was running so smoothly and they looked very confident. I was, was watching Alec and I said, wow, he feels so confident. He's moving his upper body better and it's terrific. Then had that little stumble in the uh, midline steps. We'll take a look at that, of course. But uh, a lot more relaxed and more confidence now. A young team in regards to how long they've been together. So. They're coming along very quickly, very nice. Lots of work still yet to do, of course. And here's a look at the Twizzles. They're in at a level four for both Chloe and for Alec. For the plus point three one for the GOE. So did a good job on that set of Twizzles. And here's a look at some of the steps in the blues portion of the dance, the key points. And you missed me too. There's the Choctaw right there. And Stepping up back outside edge, nice and deep, nice and close. And here's the pickup on the straight line lift, also in at a level four with a plus point four six. So well done on that element as well. Let's see what happens in the step sequence. Everything's going pretty good, pretty smooth. They had some good upper body movement. And let's watch out right here. Oh, just lost the balance. He just leaned a little bit too far forward, broke the core, bent, but not too bad. Got right back into the steps right away. So good recovery. Well, the rhythm dance scores for Chloe and Alec. 44.10. And that'll put them currently into second place. Well, our next team comes from Cyprus, both born in Russia, Angelina Kutusova and Ilya Karinkovich. She's 15, he is 17, second junior Grand Prix season there, coached and choreographed by Alexei Sitnikov. 52.96 personal best at the World Junior Championships 2020. And they're skating this afternoon to Route Blue.
representing Cyprus, Angelina Kudyartseva and Ilya Karankevich. Well, what's great about this team is they are looking to break new ground. They are looking to be a little bit different. They are looking to be edgy and good. And they were all of that. That's a lot of fun to watch. Quite often the dances and even the singles, this programs, I don't want to say they look the same, but they can be very, very similar. This was unique. This was different. We'll take a look at some of those innovations. Here's the program theme content, the character followed right to the T. Here's a look at the opening of the midline steps. Nice work in the upper body. Some great stuff in here, but what I was unusual was this right here. A body roll? Never seen that. Back up. That's great. Very unique. And here's a straight line lift in the level four with a plus point nine eight GOE. Takes some good core strength to hold those positions solid so there's no movement. And here's a look into the twizzles. These are level four for Angelina and level four for Ilya plus 0.83 Julia. And again, a unique sort of move right in between the two sets of twizzles. Very nice. There you go. Working it. Really nice. And they not only had innovation, but they did it well. That's what's really important. So if you're going to be a bit different, you have to make sure that it's done well. Otherwise, it's kind of a weak effort. Let's take a look at the scores for Angelina and Yilia in the rhythm dance. 60.54. Well, Yelia's happy, that's for sure. Thumbs up by Angelina. They're pleased. They're currently in first place. And there's a look at your top five leaderboard so far. Following competitors may now take the ice for a warm up. Couple number six, representing Georgia, Yulia Avenela Vitaze. Oh, let's take a look once again at the standing so far after the first group. What a great dance for Angelina and Yulia. That was a lot of fun to watch. As the second group takes to the ice for the warm up. Couple number eight, representing Canada. You should see some really good programs here as well. Couple number nine, representing Russia. Three Russian teams, one Canadian, and one team from Georgia. You'll see some really good, strong, basic skating skills out of all of these teams. And this is where you'll notice if you've been watching along and you've heard me numerous times talk about early stage of development, you'll see skaters or teams being a little bit more cautious and more thoughtful and being try to be a little bit more precise because they're at that stage that their brain has to think about it. It won't automatically do it until you've had the thousands of hours of practice. But these teams, you'll see it automatic and they will move effortlessly in many ways in many cases and not really have to think about things it'll be so well trained they'll always be in the right spot of course i say that and they'll probably make mistakes but i think you'll see some really great skating here The more confidence you have in what you're doing on your feet, the more room you feel that you can perform in the upper body. But if you're thinking about what your feet are doing, you're probably not going to perform too high.
And a look again at the start order for group two on the ice. Three teams from Russia. We'll start off with Yulia and Dimitri from Georgia. And Natalie and Bruce from Canada. Once again, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram at ISU Figure Skating, on YouTube at ISU Junior Grand Prix, and on Twitter at ISU underscore figure. Lots of information on social media platforms, videos, highlights, start orders, pretty much anything that you want to know about the event exists on our social media platforms. Well, and that shot you can see up in the left part of the screen called the Hotel Arena. Now that's attached to this facility here. It's not a big hotel, it has about 30 rooms, and they built that to host the visiting hockey teams so that they would be able to just walk right into the facility. Now, that uh, facility has been closed during COVID, but they did open it up for us, uh, for our team, uh, broadcast team and Swiss timing and ISU staff members and some of the volunteers as well. So we're very grateful for that. It's, counted it out actually 41 steps from the door of the hotel to the door of the rink ever so convenient that's for sure very nice staff over there as well Ladies and gentlemen, Skruzinska, representing Georgia, Yulia Medvedeva. From Georgia, Yulia 16, Dimitri is 20. They're coached by Alexei Sitnikov and choreographed by Peter Durnov. Skating the rhythm dance here this afternoon to one night only from the Dream Girls.
Representing Georgia, Yulia Lebedeva Vitaz and Dmitry Parkomenko. Well, from a performance level, certainly a lot of energy went into that program. And we'll take a look at some of the elements. Had a few challenges with the technical elements a little bit here and there from a level perspective, but certainly performance level. They were committed. Take a look at the end of the step sequence that is in only at level one for the midline step. Lots of animation. There's a look at the twizzles. Level two for Yulia and level three for Dimitri. A little loss of balance there for Yulia. And look, this tight look at the feet on the blues portion. There's the Choctaw. Inside edge. Back outside. A little skid there. Yulia. Step on a nice clean edge. And the straight line lift is in at a level four. Small plus GOE. You can see the woman leaning away. That's an important feature. And right into the end. There you go. Moscow, hello. Georgia, hello. <laughs> yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank getting you. The, getting the whole team in there. Happy group. I would think that would bother me having the hair down on the face there. Rhythm dance scores for Yulia and Dimitri. A 43.36. And that will put Yulia and Dimitri currently into fourth place. Well, the next team comes from Russia, 18-year-old Margarita Sistanova and 18-year-old Dmitry Studenikin. Coached by Oleg Sudakov and Elena Mikhailova. Mikhailova. Skating the rhythm dance to I Feel Like I'm Drowning by Two Feet and Feel the Weight of the Sticky Buds. Keep dreaming and dark scheming, yeah, you do. You're opposing, and I know that it's untrue.
you ain't gonna do When your looks start depleting And your friends all start leaving You're so plastic and it's tragic just for you Presenting Russia, Margarita Svistunova and Dmitry Studenikin. Well, once again, the basic skating skills show shine through clearly, and that's such a quick dance. There's so much rhythm in there they have to be very quick they don't want to get behind anything and had a very nice performance uh, most of the or all the elements are actually in the positive GOE so the quality of each one of the elements well presented well delivered well scored let's take a look off the top of the program here right into the mood right on the top here's a Look at the straight line lift, right up over the shoulders, so quick and fast, just amazing. Then they're out of it. He has to provide such a solid base because all that movement by the woman on the shoulders, if he loses his balance, that lift goes down. And look at the blues portion of the dance. To the song here in my heart. A really good look at those steps there, that's for sure. Uh, they had uh, six yeses and two noes on the, uh, between the two uh, sets. Uh, here's a look at the twizzles in at a four, for both, of course, with a 1.46 GOE quality, so really strong element for them. Total score of 8.30 for the twizzles. And then right into the ending here. Sliding move. And there you go. Right at the camera and right at the judges. Nice. Rhythm dance scores for Margarita and Dimitri from Russia 58.71. That puts them in second. They're maybe a little surprised at that team from Cyprus, but also train in Russia, of course, in Moscow at 60.54. Very interesting. From Canada, 17-year-old Natalie D'Alessandro and 19-year-old Bruce Waddle. Both born in Toronto, coached by Andrew Hallam, Jory Russell, Tracy Wilson, choreographed by Roman Hagenauer. 
skating the rhythm dance here this afternoon in week three of the Junior Grand Prix to Son of a Preacher Man hitting the fan and pumping my by Black Eyed Peas. My baby shot me down Billy Ray was a preacher's son And when his daddy would visit he'd come along When they gather around and started talking Lord knows to my surprise The only one who could ever reach me Was the son of a preacher man The only boy who could ever teach me Was the son of a preacher man You see he was, he was Presenting Canada, Natalie D'Alessandro and Bruce Waddle. What a great performance by Natalie and Bruce. Now, Natalie's skates did not arrive on the first day, so she could not practice, but got the practice in on the next day. Very always happy disposition, no problem for her. And that was just a terrific Don't performance. You know, you know, High energy, positive energy. And some really you know nice GOE scores. You know boy, boy, those are some really big scores in here. I think we're going to see a very nice overall score. So well performed, not only from a technical perspective, but also from a PC perspective as well. Let's take a look at some of the elements. Here's a look at the blues portion, the key points. And they have six yeses and oh, that changed. So five yeses and three noes. Still very well executed. Good soft knees there as they step forward on the inside edge. Here's a pick up into the twizzles. Really fast. Great ice coverage. Pretty good synchronization. Here's this right up into the second set. Arms extended front feature. And the third set here. Head goes back. Uh, level four for Natalie, level four for Bruce, and 1.35 GOE. So good scores on that as well. Here's a look at the midline steps. This is in at level two, but some great 
animation and work with the music and the choreography. Really strong. Good basic skating skills as well. Very solid. And the stationary lift. Here's the pickup. You do a bit of an airplane. And then stationary lift level 4 with a plus 1.11 for the GOE. Nice shot there. Hitch kick. Whirly. That was fun. Fun to watch. I'm sure, fun to do as well. Coach Andrew Hallam in the Kiss and Cry. Done such a nice job with not only this team. Let's take a look at the rhythm dance scores for Natalie and Bruce. 64.48. Big nod of approval from Andrew. Great job that puts Natalie and Bruce currently in the first place. There you go. Nicely done. Ako další v poradí, next is Kate, representing Russia, Vasilisa Kaganovskaya and Valery Angelopol. Well, Vasilisa, 15 years old, Valerie 17. First Junior Grand Prix event, they're coached by Angelika Kroliva. Kilova, and they will skate to, in the end with Tommy Prof. Presenting Russia, Vasilisa Kaganovskaya and Valery Angelopol. Well, you have to love it when the teams are pushing the limits, not only of the 
traditional technical elements and whatnot, but the connecting steps that jump over Vasilisa at the end of the program. Okay, it's not a technical thing. It's not going to gather a bunch of points other than being unique and different and work with the music and choreographic. But you got to love that. The sport doesn't grow unless people push the boundaries. Not an easy rhythm. That's sort of your rap. Rap is a very difficult approach, I think, to dance because is it emotional? Is it not? Like, you know, I should be the, I'm the last guy to ever talk about that, but be interested to know what the skaters feel with it. Let's take a look inside this program. Watch the opening right in here, right through the legs, really nice. And be careful because those blades are pretty sharp. Here's a look at the blues portion, the key points, and nice deep edges, great speed and flow. And they're in at uh, seven yeses and only one no for both those sequences. So, wow, really good scores on the key points. And here's a look at the curve lift in level four, of course. Beautiful piece of art in a way, movement. Point nine eight, so good GOE there as well. These twizzles were great. Unison on that first set, good ice coverage as well. Level four for both, of course, with a 1.67 plus GOE. So good scores, total of 8.7, 8.51 on the twizzles. In the midnight steps, here's a look at the end of the program. And watch this little jump. He's got to get up high enough, get over that back, and he did. And hanging on, but he couldn't hang on. Had to put the hands down. No big deal. <laughs> that was fun. That was great. Mama, Papa. Mom and Dad back at home, full of pride. Rhythm dance scores 64.84. <laughs> Boy, that's close. And they take the lead, but ever so close. There you go, 64.84 to 64.48. Wow. Free dance coming up tomorrow. I want to miss that. Representing Russia, Sofia Fitunina and Alexander Shustitsky. Well, Sofia and Alexander, both 18 years old, both born in Moscow, coached by Ekaterina. Gubleva, 64.34 personal bests in the rhythm dance a couple years back in 2019. It's getting to, do I want to know, losing your mind. Have you got color in your cheek? You ever get that feel that you can't shift the tide that sticks around? I wanna know if this feeling flows both ways. Sort of hoping that you'd stay. Maybe we both know that the nights were mainly made for saying things that you can't say tomorrow day. Crawling back to you.
representing Russia, Sofia Tutunina and Alexander Shustitsky. Well, another very solid technical performance of question. Extremely well done. Let's take a look at some of the elements in this rhythm dance. Here's the pick up into the curve left. Hands on hips down and around. Look at all that movement. Boy, I tell you. The young men have to be so stable, they cannot shake at all. There's a bunch of steps into the twizzles, level four, of course, for both Sophia and Alexander, with a plus uh, 1.67 GOE, so good score on that element. Look at the unison, nice and tight, nice and close together and fast. Here's a look at the blues portion. Six yeses and two noes between the two sequences. And there you go. Nice. It's going to be very close. All these teams very similar. Some maybe a little bit better technically. Some have more innovation. So, but very very tight competition. And it comes down to, well, you know, the, the free dance, obviously, but sometimes it's so hard to tell the difference between the dance teams when they're this good. Such small differences. Let's take a look. Rhythm dance scores for Sophia and Alexander, 63.10. And that'll put Sophia and Alexander currently into third place, but ever so close with one group yet to come. There's a look. Do you lead a board? There's a look at the standing. Right, Vasilisa and Valerie 64.84, Natalie and Bruce 64.48, and Sophia and Alexander 63.10, your top three. And oh my gosh, how close is this competition? This is going to be great to watch. My life is a Well, as we go to a short ice resurfacing break, we have a small video for you to enjoy while we take a short break. We'll be back. Stay with us. See 
one to Košice, Slovakia. Look at a beautiful park downtown in the old, in the old town. We walked around the first couple of days, grabbed some of these shots, and enjoyed some of the local cuisine, and maybe a beverage. Here's the outside of the Steel Arena. Beautiful facility here, built of course for the World Hockey Championships 2019, but this building also played host to the first Junior Grand Prix in 2013 here. That was one year before we started our coverage, starting in Courchevel 2014. We're thrilled to be here. It's our first time. Most cities we've been to a number of times, but Kushitze, uh, our first time, of course, Krasnyars for most of the crew. I have been there once. We're looking forward to going there next uh, a week from now. competitors may now take the ice for your warm up. Couple number 11, representing France, Lila Maya Seclemonchot and Martin. And Chantin. here's a look at the standings. Look how close this is 64 84, 64 40, 60 This is ever so tight. Mrazek. And lots can change tomorrow, and we Couple still have another group 13. coming onto the ice. French Ukraine. team, one from Maria Czech Republic, Inchuk, Ukraine, and Mikita Italy, Pogorielo. and one more team from Russia. And there Couple they are. Couple number 14, representing Italy, Nicole Calderari and Marco Chili. Couple number 15, representing Russia, Ekaterina Rybakova and Ivan Maklonosov. My director has a pair of pants just like that, <laughs> which he just confirmed. Wow. Well, it's been an interesting event so far because we've seen some innovations and great approach. You know, not trying to, you know, you have to be in the mold and dance. It's the compulsory portion of this event, of course, the blues. But you want to break out of the mold as well and be, stand out, be unique, be innovative, and be good. Art combination. We've seen some special moments so far. Five more teams to come. Just a reminder, we will talk a little bit about the key points, the compulsory portion. Of course, there's, it's, the rhythm is the blues and they have to be two sequences done, one at one end, one at the other end. There are four key points for the woman and four for the men. So when I talk about the eight key points and I go, you know, there are six yeses and two noes, I'm not giving you a combination of who did what, but you'll get an idea as to whether they achieve the uh, requirement on those key points. It's very specific to the edges that they're stepping on and turns and whatnot, so I don't have all the detail. The technical panel looks at that, but it's a very precise part of this event. And you can be just an excellent dance team and not get those key points, and that would be really critical. Let's take a look at the schedule for the rest of today. The men's free program goes at uh, 14.35 this afternoon. That'll be exciting. The pair's free tonight. Some great pair teams there at 18.35. Tomorrow's schedule will start with the free dance at 10.30 in the morning. And that'll be close, obviously, as we're watching this event. Very tight competition. The women's free goes tomorrow afternoon at 13.20. There's a look at the rest of our schedule. We will have next week off. And then we will move on to Krasnyarsk, Russia. Looking forward to that. September 16th to 18th, Ljubljana, Slovenia, September 23rd to 25th. Gdansk, Poland, September 30th to October 2nd. We'll finish it up here in, or in Linz, Austria, October 7th to 9th. And don't forget, Osaka, Japan will host the Junior and Senior Grand Prix Final December 10th to 12th. A look at the start order for the final group. Just finishing up their warm up.
Dvojice. Posledná minúta rozjazdky. Couples. There is one minute left in this warm-up. In the net you're going So I respect you when you take it slow I need a mentor a seat to know this moment at all Do you mind if I steal a kiss up? A little souvenir Can I steal it from you To memorize the way you shock me The way you move it here Just wanna feel it from you Don't be afraid to catch feels Right drop top and chase thrills I know you ain't afraid to pop heels Dvojice. Koniec rozjazdky. Prosím, opustite ľadovú plochu. Couples, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. Dámy a páni, Ladies and gentlemen, z Francúzska, representing France, Lila Maja Seclemoncho and Martin Chardin. Well, Lila Maja, 18, Martin, 18 as well, coached by Fabian Barzat and Roxanne Pettitin. Skating the rhythm dance to give it up, the funk, spell on you, Act that you know. Tether and fall, we're gonna tether and fall, the mother sucker. Tether and fall, the sucker. Tether and fall, we're gonna tether and fall, the mother sucker. Tether and fall, the sucker. Tether and fall, we're gonna tether and fall, the mother sucker. Tether and fall, the sucker. Get down the
Representing France, Lila Maya Seclemonshaw and Martin Chardin. Well, you can see a little disappointment on Martin's face at the end of the program. Didn't get the levels that they wanted to either on the twizzles or in the blues portion. We'll take a look at some of the elements here. Sequence of the blues. As I mentioned, there's eight key points, and they have two yeses and six noes on the key points. And here's a look at the pickup into the twizzles. Let's see what happened here. Lost balance right there, on the, even on the first turn, had put the foot down. So this is a level three for Lila Maya and level one for Martin. I'm most certain that's probably fours usually all the time. There's a pickup into the stationary lift, really nicely done. Of course, a level four for difficulty with a plus point four six for the GOE. So the score is not going to be what they wanted. A couple technical errors there. And you can see, all right, done. Oh, oh boy. As I mentioned, the twizzle for the dancers is the quad for the single skaters. It looks easy and it's great and it works for the music, it's beautiful, but it's also very difficult and very risky because one break of those turns or loss of balance, the foot goes down, you lose some big points. mention because it's true is you always appreciate the approach of the French skaters and coaches they do try to break the boundaries in a variety of different ways and do something innovative and new sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't but there's always that effort there's the score 44.16 for Lila Maya and Martin from France and that'll put them currently into seventh place Next to skate, representing Czech Republic, Katarina Vraskova and Daniel well, Katarina is 15 years old. Daniel is 18. First Junior Grand Prix season, second event. They were fourth in week one in Courchevel, the first Junior Grand Prix this season. Just off the podium, wanting to correct that here. Might be difficult. Coach and choreographed by Matteo Zani, 57.04. Personal best in week one. Skating to Daddy Cool. She's crazy like a fool What about daddy Daddy. 
representing Czech Republic, Katerzyna Mrázková and Daniel Mrázek. Well, great energy throughout that whole program and some good scores as well. I think they're going to definitely top the score from week one, where they were just off the podium in fourth place. Well, it'll be enough, we'll see. Some great energy, particularly in the midline steps. That came in at a three, and so we don't often see the step level three in the juniors sometimes, of course, but. Here's a look at the Twizzles, big inside edge to start that. Good speed, a little bit out of sync. Level three for Katerina and level three for Danielle. So missing a feature on that, but a plus a 0.83 for the GOE. So pretty good score on that, a total of 6.93. There's a look at some of the blues portion and the key points. You have uh, They have six yeses on the key points and two noes, so that's actually pretty good. Remember, there are eight key points. Here's a pick up into the stationary lift, rotational right in here, and goes down. That's a level four of difficulty with a plus 0.66, so a total of 5.96 for that element. And here's some of the steps, and as I mentioned, that midline step sequence in at level three with a really nice 2.08 for the GOE, so really good score in that step sequence of 9.78. That was their last element, and they really were aggressive with it in getting at least three of the four features. And here's the end. And they knew it. They had a good program right there. Yes. He was happy. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Rhythm dance scores for Katarina and Danielle. Season's best, 59.18. They topped their score from week one in Courchevel. That'll put them currently into fifth place. There's a look at the standing so far. It's very close. It's going to be a lot of fun. Free skate will have a lot of pressure. The free dance, pardon me. Representing Ukraine. Maria Pinchuk and Nikita Popolevo. Oh, from Ukraine, Maria, 15 years old, and Makita, 18, first Junior Grand Prix season. And they'll skate to Your Heart is as Black as Night by Beth Hart.
representing Ukraine, Maria Pinchuk and Mikita Pogorielo. Just a second. Level four for Maria and level three for Mikita. Here they are. Hands above the head. Maybe. Arms extended out front. Of this only came in at level two, so <clears throat> most all rotational lists up to this point have been four. There's something missing here, although it's still under review. We'll see what happens there. Yeah, confirmed at level two for that rotational lift. And score for Maria and Makita 52.54. Looking closely at that score, and that'll put them currently into seventh place. Maybe hoping for a little bit more, but they don't know that rotation lift only went in as two. Well, next up, Nicole Kalarari, 18 years old, second junior Grand Prix season, Marco Chili. 21 years old, coached by Barbara Fuser Poli, famous Italian dancer, of course, herself, and now coach. Skating to Poker Face, Killer, and Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. <laughs> But you slow down before you met me. They told me you were a killer, a killer. I saw your collection of hearts and I should have known better, better. Cause they told me you were a killer, a killer. And I got no doubt that the only way. Yeah. 
representing Italy, Nicole Calderari and Marco Chili. Oh, lots of energy in that dance. Let's take a look at some of the elements. You really have to, when you're choreographing dance, just create your own pictures of art forms. Here's the twizzles in at level four for Nicole, level three for Marco. See one feature. Pretty good unison, pretty close, maybe a little too close there, almost tripped. And some of the steps, midline step sequence in at level two. Now the compulsory portion just uh, six no's and two yeses, so I had some work to do on those key points. I didn't look at those, but and here's a look at the rotation lift at the end of the program. Picks up. Watch the feet. You want those feet to be really smooth across the ice to cover that ice and smooth turns by the man. Same thing in pair skating. So important the footwork. You're, we're watching the woman. We're watching what's up above. But if the man's feet is not doing the work, it's going to be a challenge and perhaps dangerous. Nice to done. Ciao a tutti. Ciao. Ciao. Lucas. Prado, Islab. Ciao a tutti. Gotta love the Italian language. Mamma, papa. It's full of life, isn't it? It's great. Well, 54.25. Oh, Barbara was going, okay, it's not too bad, not too bad. That'll put Nicole and Marco currently into seventh place. It is quite a tight competition all the way down. They're kind of in clumps a little bit. The top three, very, very tight, of course. The next three or four teams also very close. And here's our final couple. From Russia, Ekaterina Rebekova, 16 years old. And Evan Maknonosov, 19 years old, coached by Svetlana Lipina. Skating to men by and bad guy. If silence can heal, I know it can kill. Mm -mm -mm, I feel it's correct. Consider the light and light up what's real. Yeah, I could kill less.
consider your light and light to what's real. Yeah, I could care less. Duh. Representing Russia, Ekaterina Rybakova and Ivan Maktonosov. look at some of the elements in this rhythm dance we'll take a look at the twizzles for the first element Katarina has a level three so missing one feature Yvonne has four of the blade of the head pretty good units nice and close and tight and fast Loss of balance right there, probably the difference in the, from the four to the three. Here's the pickup on the straight line left, curve left, pardon me. And that's in the level four with a plus 0.85. Midline steps after that, sitting at a level two, so missing a couple features there. A little slip right here, not a big deal. Doesn't really reduce any of the points. No, they are. Well, third place currently has 63.11. You want to get kind of close to that to have a shot at the podium after the free dance. Let's take a look at the scores for Ekaterina and Ivan. Uh, 57.67. That'll put them in seventh place. That's, you know, a good six points away. That's a bit of a distance. And there, you see the leaderboard. And let's look at the final standings after the rhythm dance. Vasilisa and Valerie, 64.84. Natalie and Bruce from Canada, 64.48. And Sophia and Alexander, 63.10. Your top three. And look at the rest of the field. And here's a look at the rest of the schedule. The men's free skate starts at 14.35. Don't miss, it, miss that. That's going to be exciting. The pair is free tonight. Some great teams there at 18.35. Tomorrow's schedule will start with the free dance at 10.30 in the morning. We'll move on to the women's free skate at 13.20. Just a reminder, we have a week off next week, and then we'll move on to Krasnodar, Russia, Ljubljana, Slovenia, Gdansk, Poland, Linz, Austria. We'll close it out on October 7th tonight. Osaka, Osaka, Japan, December 10th to 12th will be the host for the Junior and Senior Grand Prix Final. For all of us here at, the, at ISU and Red Brick Sports, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the men's free program coming up in just a little while.
Heart still beats.